Smash musical Frozen has welcomed some new stars to Arendelle. We're headed to Sardis to talk to Sierra Renee, Mackenzie Kurtz, and Ryan McCartan about their magical Broadway gigs. Hey, look, you're in the middle of a big Disney smash hit. How does it feel to be up there? It's amazing. It's powerful every night. It's really, really beautiful. Welcome to Broadway. <laughs> Thank you. What a great big way to get Welcome to Broadway, starring in a Disney musical yes. as a princess that we all love, Anna. I find myself having out-of-body experiences a lot, and opening night I just had to take a moment to really say, wow, this is real and it's it's really happening, and I can't even describe it, honestly. It's amazing. Yeah, Disney's really good at mixing great spectacle with sort of very basic theater tricks That's to right. kind of make things magical. That's right. It's like a magician. It's like magic. You know that it's not magic, but you can't explain it, so it, it is to you. It's just that like ancient sort of those stage tricks that you incorporate that are so brilliant. This movie took off in such a huge way. The sequel just took off in a huge way. Mm -hmm. This musical's a big hit on Broadway. Why is this story connecting with people? It has something for everyone. I have a little sister, and so when I fell in love with the movie the first time I saw it, and then fell in love with the musical when I saw it. It's so much about love and relationships and family. Everyone sees themselves in it in some way or another. This is a sisterhood story. People love seeing strong, female leads in Broadway musicals and in any story, but how does it feel to get to play a heroine like this? Love it. I think I've been very blessed to play some very interesting women in, in my career, um, and I hope it continues this way, and I'm, I'm glad that I get to add Elsa to that roster. She is absolutely a very, very powerful woman, and she comes into her power in this show. You know, she starts out very walled off and blocked off and afraid of herself and afraid of her power, which I think a lot of women can understand. Um, and by the end of it, you get to see her stepping into it very empowered, and I think that that's an incredible arc. I think a lot of audiences come into the musical and they're kind of surprised because it's not sort of a scene for scene adaptation mm -hmm. of the movie, which is what's so great about it yeah. and so unique to Broadway. What do you think will surprise people the most? Well, I love that it has all of the, a lot of the moments from the movie that we all know and love, and then it, it adds on, I mean, there's new songs, and just recently there's been all these changes that have happened, and audiences seem to be responding really well to them. This new song, I Can't Lose You, Bobby and Kristen wrote, it is gorgeous. And it's also nice because it gives you kind of a, a better look at the relationship between Anna and Elsa and explores that a little bit more, and it's different from the movie in the best, in the best ways, I think. What's the best thing about your job? I think it's um, connecting with people, connecting with the audience, connecting with people afterwards, being able to hear how I've affected or inspired someone or just made them think about something different, you know, by being able to inhabit this character and tell this story. What is it like knowing that so many of these people in the audience, not just kids, but a lot of people, it's going to be their first Broadway show. I mean, that, that's something that's really unique to a Disney title like this. There is absolutely, without a doubt, someone in this audience who is experiencing Broadway for the first time, that comes with it an awesome responsibility to make sure that we do it right and to make sure that we show them this is a place you want to come back to. You want to be a patron of the arts and, and most specifically Broadway for the rest of your life and we're going to show you why. 